Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here again, back into being online. Uh, for those who are joining us uh, new, the meaning of Kula Brajana is illuminating the Kula, but also it's allowing, allowing the light of the Kula to shine. As uh, some of you already know, it's, it's a... It comes from the country coordinators, from a group of the country coordinators here in Europe, Julia in Germany, Lea in Netherlands, Ulrich in the Scandinavia area, Estelle in Spain, Isabel in the UK and Ireland, and myself here in Austria. We are, a, so to say, sister um, program from the Samudra Shakti Online that started in the USA with Maduri Martin and Lisa Long. And as always, I ask you to kindly, if you like our free content, uh, I ask you to kindly contribute with our Anusara School of Hatha Yoga. You can go with the phone. I will show you this again later. And our presenter, we go to Karin Ruger. Oh, my R, it's impossible not to R. So I'm sorry, I cannot really pronounce your name. But uh, you get it, R R R Ruger from Switzerland. Karin is an experienced certified Anusara yoga teacher, also registered, of course, with the Yoga Alliance in the 500 RYT and uh, YA uh, CEP. She is a, also a complementary therapist, advanced federal, she has a complementary therapist, advanced federal diploma of higher education and certified yoga therapist. She completed her first Anusara immersion back in the 2009 in Vancouver. And since 2010, she has she, she became inspired in 2010 and continued to practice, learn with many of our teachers in our method and eventually getting certified in 2020. She is the co-founder and director of Yoga, yoga, Sva, yoga school in Biel, Bine, Switzerland, which is also a Yoga Alliance registered Hatha Yoga School. Today, she will be presenting us this uh, object of beauty meditation. So I do not say anything more. Thank you so much and welcome, Karin. As always, if you need to communicate, you can uh, use the chat. We will be monitoring. Thank you. Thank you, Letizia, for your help. Thank you, Julia, also for your help. And I'm happy to be here. I'm sorry for the delay. Sorry for the technical problems. But um, let's do some practice now. Huh? This is uh, what my plan is for tonight. Uh, the plan is uh, to move you into the object of beauty meditation. Because uh, beauty really is a, is a divine quality. Because when we see beauty in others and in ourselves, we express it. We can express it more freely. Um, important is uh, to remember that there is beauty in everything and in everyone. And um, to find or to connect to beauty inside of us helps us to express it easily. Now there's a technique uh, that I love actually to practice in uh, my meditation practice, which is, as I said, the object of beauty meditation. But before we move into that practice, I'd like to um, chant first a little bit so that we can um, express the bhava in ourselves, that we can connect to that uh, to that devotional aspect in our yoga practice, uh, always remembering that yoga is a spiritual practice. And uh, I'd like also to move a little bit into pranayam uh, uh, so that we can clear a little bit, uh, the maybe the thought waves calm then a little, little bit down. So, and then of course also move our body so that we can sit for the meditational aspect of uh, this evening, or for this 45 minutes of practice that are left. <laughs> okay, so please come into an upright seat. 
uh, make sure that you sit comfortable. Yeah. And um, yeah, maybe you can uh, turn on the microphone so that we can listen to each other's voices also when we are far away. I know that uh, there are people from Belgium, there are people from Switzerland, of course, and uh, there are people from Spain, from Germany, of course. And uh, yeah, it's great to have this platform to bring the voices together and join into um, chanting. Of course, we will start with the Anusara invocation. All right, so please come into an upright seat. Make sure that uh, your sit bones are rooted beautifully, your spine is uh, in one line with your neck and your head. And then uh, allow the two physical eyes to close so that your inner eye is opening. Huh? And then just connect to your breath. Make sure that the breath becomes free inside of you so that the inner walls of your upper body get flattened and big and wide, so bright. And then with the next inhalation, join your hands in front of your heart. And exhale deeply down into your lower belly. Inhale again. Om Namah Shivaya Sajidananda Uraya Nish Parabanshaya Jantaya Niralambaya Tejasi Om Namah Shivaya Uraya Sajidananda Tai Nish Paravanjaya Jantaya Nika Yambaya Tejasi Nariyum Namma Shivaya, Hari Om Namah Shivaya, Hari Om Namah Shivaya, Hari Om Namah Shivaya, Hari Hari Om, Hari Hari Om Shivaya, Hari Om Chi <laughs> vaya Hari Om Namah Shivaya Hari Om Namah Shivaya 
Hare Hare Om Hare Hare Om Om Shivaya Om Om Shivaya Om Hare 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 Om Om Shivaya Om Hare Hare Om Hare Hare Om Namo Shivaya Om Hare Om Namo Shivaya Hare Om Namo Shivaya Hare Om Namo Shivaya Shivaya Just feel the vibrations a moment. Feel the energy inside of you after this chanting. Feel the beautiful bhava inside of you, the energy. Beautiful, and I close or open the eyes again. And uh, yeah, if you are on your seat, uh, on your mat, then um, that's good. I just go to your, to my mat as well. Yeah. So then here we are. And let's move into a little bit of Kapalabhati as well, yeah? Just to clear the energetic channels before we move into the Asana practice, okay? So Kapalabhati, the fire breath, certainly you know it. It's uh, below two finger mm, width, uh, below the belly, lower belly button. And there you exhale, you pull the belly in, and with the inhalation, which is passive, you let the belly flow out. Yeah, so it's an active pulling back, exhaling, and the inhalation is passive. Okay, it makes it two rounds. Okay. Exhale completely, you can lean forward, pull the belly in, exhale completely, hold, come back. And with the inhalation, release. And bring the focus on your third eye, the point between the eyebrows. Just breathe the positive energy in and out. Relax your lips, uh, your chin, the eyeballs fall fully back into the eye sockets. Let's go in the second round of Kapalabhati. Exhale completely. Put the belly back in. Hold the exhalation. And when we feel the importance of inhaling, release first the pandas and then inhale. And bring again the focus on the point between the eyebrows. Exhale completely. And inhale fully. Just let the breath be free. We go in a third round, yeah, okay.
And then you inhale. Again, the focus on the point between the eyebrows. Release the skin, relax the skin. Just normal breath flow. Just let it flow. And simply move the fingertips and open the eyes. Let the wish and the become clearer. Yeah. And then let's move into a few movements of the body. Come on to cat cow position. Ah, we know it, so we don't have to uh, indicate too many things. Inhale, just move the spine, mobilize the spine, exhaling. And again, inhale, make the midline long and slow with the exhalation into a round back. Pull the belly in. Come into the movement of the uh, Natural, intuitive flow. Move also the head from side to side. And then make sure that the shoulders stay there where they are. Move the knees a little bit back. When you're ready, lift your knees up into your downward facing dog. Just walk your feet out one by one. As you know it, and make sure that uh, the fingertips are beautifully spread wide, the toes as well. And then bend both your knees and lift the hips as high up as possible. Just move intuitively here. It will be just a short practice of Pratana. So the important is that you move your body, that you feel your body so that you can come and sit into meditation afterwards. Move forward into plank. Mm -hmm. Lift your heart forward, see the beauty in front of you and pull the heels back into unknown beauty. And then just flow down to the floor. Let's come into a little Bhujangasana, lifting up and looking forward into the beautiful space in front of you, exhaling. And move back into the downward facing dog. Ah, just move again intuitively so that your body can feel free when you come onto your knees and maybe. A little pustrasana. Even you take both your hands, or maybe just one hand, and move into a little back bend here, one side after the other. Maybe even both your hands, lifting your heart up, looking up. And then let's come forward again. Go down and facing dog. Good, let's bring our right foot forward. Now let's lower the knee down and lift your upper body. Inhale, yeah. Lift your heart. And express the beauty from the inside. Exhale. Do a little twist. Into the back. Uh, back of your shoulder. And exhale, look down. And switch the legs. First, we go into the other side of twisting. That's an important asana here in order to move the spine so that we can sit afterwards to stillness. Exhale, stay here a few breath cycles. 
Let's a little movement of your body in order to feel the beauty afterwards from the inside and extend into the outside. Back in the downward facing dog. Come on to your knees again. Yeah. And sit onto your heel. And then let's just open the arms. Imagine you have this beautiful lotus flowers in your hands and you widen the heart in order to lift them a little higher. Okay, and the right arm underneath your left. Just here, a little movement and feeling the shoulder blades in the back. Deep inhalation and exhalation as you know it. Of course, you can also sit into Virasana if you feel more comfortable. Don't take a block if necessary. Let's switch to the other side. And let's take the left arm underneath the right. And again, with a strong connection to the midline of your body, of your being, of your mind-body system. Just feel the midline here, connecting to the inner beauty. Okay, and open again. Join the hands in the back, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart up, and if your knuckles, press them a bit into the lower spine, opening the heart. And exhale, release. Coming to your feet again for an Adamatsindrasana. Just twist, repeating twist here. Inhale, the arm up. And exhale. And let your knee inhale, lengthen, and with the exhalation, move into your rotation. Make sure that, mm, again, the breath is felt in your lower belly as you exhale. And with the inhalation, you express it to the outside. Beautiful inner pillar, yeah, shows you that there's so much that you can express from the inside out. Inhale, keep the bhava in the practice, and let's switch the legs. As I said, it's just a short movement of the body and of the breath in order to come into stillness afterwards. Inhale, lengthen up. Ah, exhale, and move into your twist. Stay there for five more full breath cycles. Let the wave of inhalation carry you out. A little counter twist. And bring your soles of the feet together. Uh -huh. Come into a little, uh, maybe not too close. Today I go a little bit further. With the exhalation, just give the mouth forward. Giving you maybe your feet a kiss and exhale. Beautiful. Maybe you want to stretch out the legs one more time and bow forward more and more. <laughs> Beautiful. And just lie down quickly <laughs> on the back. <laughs> Pulling the knee close to your chest. First priority, have the long leg. Uh, and then again, feel the connection. 
from your side to your front body. Open the psoas so that you can sit longer and then switch the legs in the air and go to the other length of your right leg in the second priority and the bent leg. Beautiful. Now, bring the hips together. We go into a little bridge again. Also back bending, just lifting up. Whatever you feel comfortable, place the arms. Yeah, you know this position well, so I don't need <laughs> to um, instruct it too deeply. Maybe a little twist to finish the movement of the body. Make sure you look to the other side as you mean. And also here, a little twist. <laughs> Maybe you have more space there <laughs> in your room. <laughs> okay, excellent. Put, pull your knees close to your chest. Maybe you want to hold outside of your feet and lift your nose between your knees. Okay, and then let's come into the seat. So make sure that maybe you want to come into onto a cover or a block. Mm -hmm. Karin, could could you move further towards the camera, please? Okay. Of course, I can. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. So here we are ready for the object of beauty meditation. Mm. If there is a movement that your body requires, just please feel free to go into it. Mm. And then sit into your meditative pose and uh, just uh, choose an object that is very beautiful to you. Okay, this object can be anything. It can be the Grand Canyon, a sunset, maybe a flower, an artifact, a piece of artwork, or any other object, saddle or cross. Close your eyes now and uh, just come into that connection of that object of beauty that comes right now into your mind. And you don't need to think about it. Just what comes into your mind is for tonight, the object of beauty for you. So choose in the early stages of this meditation, choose only a concrete object, yeah? So something that evokes in you a feeling of beauty. And then focus on your sun center, yeah, the point between the eyebrows. And visualize that object of beauty within your mind's eye. So mentally feel it. And you go and touch it mentally and you perceive it totally. And each time that the, the mind wanders away from this object, gently refocus, refocus it on the object. So again, if your mind wanders away, just gently bring it back to the object of beauty that you have chosen.
And after a while, your mind will hold to the object. Just stay with it. It's like you examine the object. You see it in each detail. You feel it, you touch it. You feel the texture of it. You see the color of it. What color has it? You examine it further. You focus on each single detail from below, from above, from the side. If the object wanders away, just bring it back into your sun center, the point between the eyebrows. Now, hold it there. And now simply shift your perception from the feeling state into, or from the touching state into the feeling state. What is it that you feel when you think of that object of beauty? And allow the object now gently fade away. It is still there, you can still see it, but the feeling state becomes more aware. And having both of this feeling state and the touching state, now gently bring the focus from your third eye, from your sun center, into your heart. So that means that object of beauty that you have chosen is now in your heart center. The feeling state, you become more aware now and you allow the object of beauty to fade fully away. What is it that you feel about that object of beauty? How do you describe the feeling? that your object of beauty gave you, gives you. Stay with that feeling state of beauty inside of you. Allow the breath to embrace that feeling state in your heart center. That feeling of beauty, that divine feeling state. All the divine qualities of the divine, um, like joy, selfishness, forgiveness, love, 
devotion, all these states of the divine, as described the divine, are coming from the beauty. And this is what you express from the inside out. All have that common source of beauty. Keep that feeling state inside of your heart for the next moments. We will be here for the next 20 to 30 breath cycles. Just connect again to that feeling state that the object of beauty gave you. Stay in your heart center with that feeling of beauty. And keeping that feeling of beauty inside of your heart. Just lower the chin a, a little bit and bring the back of your head further back so that there's this a little stretch inside of your throat and applicate Ujjayi breath and allow the Ujjayi moving into your lower belly and again up your body, into your throat, even through your head, your sun center, even higher up. So that the midline, the whole midline is actually touched by that feeling state of beauty. Applicate Ujjayi breath for a few moments, a few breath cycles. Keeping that feeling of beauty inside your upper body, into your heart. Please feel free to join me into alternate nostril breathing. Mm -hmm. Bringing the thumb into your right nostril, exhaling through the left. Just soft, very soft. And then inhale through the left and change, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left, continue with that.
Just simply feel how the exhalations and the inhalations are softly touching the midline and carrying the feeling of your object of beauty alongside. And through the next exhalation, through the right, lower your, your uh, right hand. Bring the focus again from your heart up into your third eye, the sun center, the point between the eyebrows. Just breathe the positive energy in and out carrying the feeling of beauty. If you like, you can use your mantraso, hum, so inhalation, hum, exhalation, into your third eye, the point between the eyebrows, the command center of your body, mind, system. And when you're ready, just simply mm, rip your fingertips, the peripheries of your body, and lower your head to your heart, lift your hands, just in a gesture of gratitude. Just stay there for a moment in your heart, in your beauty. And bow to the own beauty inside of you and inside of the others. Namaste. Yeah, so. Um, the object of beauty meditation helps us to come closer to the in, inner beauty that is inside of us. Uh, and that beauty, that divine beauty, is what connects us all, uh, all human beings, all that manifests from the divine source, that connection, that is the beauty. And um, it's the source. Uh, the, uh, the divine has different uh, aspects. We know it. And... Uh, Beauty is a very, very, very divine essence of, of the highest. So um, always when I practice, and I do this practice actually quite often, it, it, it's, it helps me to, to shift my perception um, in, in my daily life. And um, I use it as a tool to bring my energy level in a different um, Flight uh, height. So uh, I hope, um, yes, it uh, it has shown you also um, a, a connection to your inner beauty. Mm -hmm. It's uh, sometimes these meditations, different techniques, and different methods help us just to use them as an instrument and uh, to keep to keep the connection uh, to the divine source. In, your, in our daily life as well. So I hope I uh, had, uh, had the possibility to show you that. Uh, my English is not so well. <laughs> I realized that uh, when I uh, 
was living in Vancouver and also New Zealand for four years in each country. My English was much better. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I have lost it a little bit. So I had to, to search a little bit for the words, but um, I hope it worked for you. <laughs> yes. Um, I was told at the beginning um, that uh, I have to make sure that at nine o'clock I should uh, have finished, but I know that we have been delayed uh, with some technical problems. And I'm very sorry for that. I have no idea why, because uh, at the beginning, when we uh, started at uh, 8.30, uh, no, sorry, at 7.30, everything was okay. The technique was okay. So some something has happened. Yeah. Life, uh, normal life. <laughs> thank you, Letizia. <laughs> thank you, Karin. That was beautiful. It's always nice to... The reminder, right, that there is so much yeah. beauty inside and that there's so much beauty around and that that's the, the thing that connects us all. So that was, I, I, I thought that that was beautiful. So thank you very much. And do not apologize about your English. I do believe your English is very beautiful. Plus, I think over here, if I'm not mistaken, there are no, um, how do you say that first language English speaking? I think we are all. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're I right. think so. So do not do not apologize. We understand that. Uh... <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> we all have our accents. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very um, much. I don't know if anybody wants to say something or ask anything. We can. Yes, please. My question. Yes, please ask if you uh, have. We can use the chat or you can unmute and just ask. We can go a little bit longer since we have all of these course, technical yeah. difficulties. It was very nice. I just want to say thank you to Karim because it was very. I, I, it, I, it taught me. It was very nice. Thank you very much, Sandrine. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for having been here. <laughs> yeah, the one speaking was Maria, but on the chat, we do have Sandrine saying, thank you, Karin, your class was beautiful. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, anybody I, else? I also thought that it's, it's, it's difficult to go on with um, like, ugly ugly thoughts or ugly behavior <laughs> ugly in comparison to beauty if you if you practice something like this like most of our practices um it happens with them that once you start them you it's like a total shift of state of of mind and of heart isn't it so yeah i really enjoyed this it's it's really it's like the beauty is like um pushing away all the not so beautiful absolutely <laughs> very nice express thank you julia exactly how you said mm. estella mm. writes in the chat is expansive <laughs> good i'm glad mm -hmm. and we have many more thank yous from peter very nice class daniel thank you caring thank and you yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. I always have to thank people for, you know, the willingness, for, for their willingness to to come to our uh, meetings and, and share their knowledge and their, and share the light, you know, and which, of course, reminds us all that we can do the same. We can also share our own lights. Like um, at Samavesha, uh, our next speaker, by the way, next month, January, our next speaker will be Gisela Vasquez. She was the um, person in charge of the philosophy classes at Samavesha. And uh, she was also reminding us about, you know, the consciousness expand expanding inside or uh, basically, yeah, what we all love, no? Tantric philosophy. So thank you, Karin, so much. Um, thank you.
let me just share my screen for one last uh, announcement. I already said who is coming next month, right? Gisela Vasquez. She will talk. She is, uh, obviously, <laughs> it seems like she is the expert nowadays in philosophy. And um, she will talk about the Spanda Carica. So we, and, and, and a special thing next month, since it's January, we will do it the second Sunday. So we will do it January 14th. Of course, we will be sending the info uh, that important thing to notice next month is not going to be the first Sunday, it's going to be the second Sunday as an exception. Um, as I was saying, yes, uh, Sama Vecha was beautiful, beautiful event. And we, Julia and myself, are working on the videos. So, of course, we ask for patience because it's just the two of us working on many <laughs> videos that uh, we have. Um, if uh, you have any feedback to share with us, please use the website, our anusarayoga.com slash survey. How do you say that? Minus Kula, minus Brajana, minus AU, minus online. Uh, and also, if you do want to apply to present, please let us know. We are always looking forward for more members of our Kula to share their lights. Once again, I humbly ask you to contribute to our school if you like our free content. If you want to continue seeing free content, we need your support. Thank you so much, everybody. We invite you, of course, for another month. Uh, January, cannot believe that we are already coming into January, <laughs> but seeing you January 14th. Thank you all so much for making this Kula Brajuna Europe online such a nice place to be. Karin, please let us know how can we um, continue learning with you. I will share on the chat your website, but if you want to say anything, um, please go ahead. Yes, thank you very much, Letizia. Uh, yes, I think everything, um, my offerings are all on my homepage, which is the www.yogaswa.com. Um, I have um, two retreats actually next year uh, that I will be offering. But they will be in Switzerland, so you have you would have to travel to uh, to uh, the center of Switzerland, and one is also in Basel, which I hope Elina will join me. Hopefully, <laughs> Elina is a uh, other Anusara certified Anusara yoga teacher, and uh, if um, if uh, she is willing to join me in that retreat, we will be offering it together. Um, a beautiful location uh, in the center of uh, Basel, uh, um, an important city in Switzerland. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, I will also offer a 200-hour training, which starts on the 2nd of April um, and it goes until December, uh, this as the next year in 24 a 200 hour full training of uh, Anusara, which is also, of course, uh, Yoga Alliance certified, of course. And uh, what else? Uh, yes, I will be offering also in January a hands on adjustment workshop, which is actually close uh, to my city where I live in Biel, which is in the northern part of Switzerland. Beautiful place uh, to come and visit. Um, uh, yes, so this is the, what my plans are for, for the next year. And yeah, a few workshops here and a few workshops there. Yeah, uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> Great, thank you. So all the information one can find in her website, which I share uh, on the chat. Yes. Great. So if anybody else... Thank you. ...or <laughs> let it for next month. <laughs> um. We can just say goodbye then and um, Merry Christmas all. Have a good entrance in the new year and see you in 2024, January 14th, uh, where we will be with Gisela Vasquez. Everybody, thank you so much and looking thank forward you to seeing much. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. <laughs>